<laughs> so guys, allow me to share this. You, so you claim you're friends, right? You've got some guys, some of your people that are your friends, you're very tight. Let me ask you, how many of your friends' businesses have you invested in? The friends around you, they have a friend who sells shoes, you have another one who does, I don't know, uh, therapy, massage therapy, you have another one who has a salon, you have another. How many of your friends do you intentionally invest in? As in you go out of your way, look for your friend's barbershop, kinyozi or whatever it is, na unaenda uko, unanyolewa uko. Una tafta mali anauza chips, unanuno. Let me tell you, if you really value a friendship, invest in their business. When we started the resort, my wife and I did a whole list of our friends. And we started calling them one by one. And this is what we used to tell them. We used to tell them, Skiza, me, I don't need you to wait for a fundraising for me to take my kids to school. Don't wait for a fundraising to help me with a medical bill. Simna nunuanga chips. Eh. You don't know the owner of that restaurant that you normally go to, that big hotel. Chips ni viazi. Come to my place. No, no chips. That's how you put food on my table as my friend. And let me tell you, nine out of ten of our friends never showed up. And that's a sad reality of life. And I'm not even mad at it. It just taught me something. That most people who call themselves your friends are not willing to put their money where their mouth is. If you really value a friendship, go buy their chips. Buy their chips and then tell them it's rubbish. If it's really rubbish, tell them, by the way, your chips are crap. I would not pay money for this. You've helped them. Umempea feedback enyeneza kumsaidia. But this thing of saying this is my friend and you don't even know what they do, you don't know what they sell, you don't know what business they are in, that business is what puts food on their table. Iyo biashara ndio inapeleka watoto shule. Invest in that business. Go out of your way and spend money on your friend's business. That's brotherhood. That's sisterhood. And there are some, there are some clans that do that. There are some tribes and ethnic groups that do that. The Indians do that amazingly well. And then we sit here and say, you know, Waindi wanajipenda. No, they understand a simple thing. If you're my brother, I invest in you. If you are truly my sister, then your business is my business. Imambo ya kungoja mpaka funeral, then that's when you give 500, 5,000 and we put on our suits and we inconvenience ourselves greatly to go to people's funeral and they are the one who will never ever realize that you came to their funeral. I will never know when you come to my funeral. Come to my life. Give me my flowers when I'm alive. Buy, invest in my business. Give me honest feedback. That is highest sense of friendship that you can have for an entrepreneur. All right, so I don't know who this helps, but this is probably for somebody out there. Cheers.